Right, we have to wrap it up because I wanted to say something. Well, Casey say, Hunt, thank you some, very much. Say something, uh, okay. Well, I will, I've been trying. I wanted to flush it out with <laughs> Yamiche, actually. She was explaining John Lewis, I think. I think she was explaining that he's so frustrated about voting rights and other issues that this was his way of expression, and she had to go. Why is, why is it that we can explain any Democrat and explain a, a statement that's maybe untrue or inappropriate and explain it away and finally understand and translate for them, and yet we cherry pick Trump statements? That's what I want to know. I'm not even, I'm not a Trump supporter, uh, so, you know, it's not like, I just see a real difference here. And it seems to me that we are the ones who need to reset as well. And we need to look at both sides carefully, and you don't ask leading questions about Lewis and make a speech defending John Lewis when you're asking a question too. We it is all over the place. Read the papers. We we decipher Democrats and make them sound great, and we make Republicans sound like complete. The word that we won't use, uh, the word that Trump shouldn't use, that uh, you brought up, nobody should use. It's unbelievable. I saw John Lewis's statement. For John Lewis's statement, what he said, the words he said. Everyone else is translating for him, and on top of it. He missed another inauguration. Right, this is it's how, pol it's how polarized Why are we deciphering is. for him? Right, this is on one side. He is an icon. Everybody he is sees. a hero, absolutely. But no, there's no question about that. But both can be true. But then everybody takes gets into their bunker and says, we have to defend everything John Lewis says is wrong. I, I know. We have to defend think, everything Donald Trump question, says is wrong. If you wrong. want to have this office, which only America really has, which is this incredibly elevated, exalted position of the President of the United States, which is elected official, head of state, ceremonial head of state, commander in chief, pile it all in there, that demands a certain standard of behavior. I agree. That's his and job. I'm talking about ours. Well, and our job, the press's job, probably should have been. Does it talk about how John Lewis is a hero for our time and is a saint, as Andrew Young said. Absolutely. And yet what he I said agree with that. what he said about Trump being illegitimate because Russia was actually not borne out by the facts, the objective facts. Should not be translated into frustration about voting And what he said rights. about this being the first time he's ever missed an inauguration because he sees Donald Trump as illegitimate is not borne out by the facts. So Donald Trump needs to be quiet, but the press needs to do its job. Yeah. It needs to stop asking leading questions and it needs to find... And erasing it, the past when I, they feel like it. As I've been saying time and time again, they have to provide proper context. <laughs> it's something you can... You can read all the papers. Miserable at providing proper context. Yesterday's Times interview, uh, London Times interview, um, how how that was summarized. It was just, it was preposterous. They cherry picked. There's a lot of cherry picking going on right now, and the press just needs to do their jobs so and stop writing sanctimonious uh, op-eds about what the press should do. This, that, we must. Re no, just do your best blanking job. And just give people the facts and stop feeling like you are on a crusade. Do your job. Report the facts. Provide context. Provide history. And let the voters decide. Let the people decide. Let your readers decide. Still ahead on Morning they Joe. They can't do it. Senator John they McCain. They can't lift the hammer. They are incapable. <laughs> they are proving themselves incapable well, of doing it. That's a whole other issue about not being able to...